There have been a few posts about Zoom text and dual monitors, so I thought I'd kind of show you some things on how it works and how I use it. I'm sitting off to the side, so things aren't going to move quite as fast as if I was right in front of it, because I'm trying to use my bioptic to see when it's not zoomed in. So right now I have the dual monitors. I have Zoom text on. I have it in multi-local view. So multiple monitors and multi-local view, which means there's one thing on one monitor, one on the other. They're independently scrolling around. Now the benefit of multi-local view is you can, if you want to read this but not have it move as you go to the other screen, you can put your position where you like it. You hit control Q and it locks it in place. When you go to the other screen. I went back on there, so there. So now it brings your cursor to the other screen and now you're free to use this screen and the other one is steady so that you can read it for whatever you're typing and they also will zoom independently. So I can zoom in on the one that I'm on and the other one stays at the level it was zoomed at. And I could do the same. I can say I want to freeze this one and go freeze that one. I'm now on the other screen. I can move in there and if I needed to scroll down to a new spot or change the zoom on the other screen, I can do that separately. I find that really beneficial if I have a log or something that I need to stay on the same area but then be working in my code. So I'll freeze it on the right screen and work on the left screen. When I'm not doing that, I actually prefer span over two monitors. And with span, I can zoom in enough that I can really sit back and I can see the full lines of code all the way across the screen instead of just the part of it. There's also the zoom with 1x which means it's mirrored. Your one side is in zoom, the other is in regular that could be beneficial, I guess, when an instructor's with someone or two people are working together. I don't find it beneficial because I use the dual monitors and want both of them available for me. There's also clone, which is both will be zoomed and it'll be the same thing. Again, I personally haven't found any benefit to that yet. Multi-global. Is similar to multi-local. I haven't really used multi-global yet. So. Again, they'll be independent. So this way, even if you go to the other screen, it doesn't move, so it's really locked. So if I go here and I want that spot locked, I do, oops, sorry, hit the wrong key. Come over here. Let's switch to this, because it's interesting. Now I'm in span, which is what I usually use. Let's go back and try multi-global again. So it looks like one zooms and one freezes, but you can get to both screens. So you're global, you're zoomed in, and you can see both. So let's see what happens if I control Q here. Now I'm on the other screen and I can move around and see both of the two monitors with one enlarged. And I assume I can also 
independently zoom both sides. Control Q will take me back to the left monitor and I can move around on that one. And then independently control its zoom. I usually use span. I have found the multi-local to be useful lately because I have to do a lot of stuff with error logs that come out of our system and it's easier to keep that locked on one screen so I can go into my code and look at what I'm having a problem with in the logs. Um, some other things with Zoom text, there are some color themes. I usually keep it normal, but you can invert the brightness. I don't like that at all. You can do reverse video. Again, I just don't like the way it looks. There's yellow on black. We can do black and white, white on black. There's white on black. Again, I do normal. The other thing you can do in settings is if you pick custom, you can then go in and control the brightness. I don't like it as well as the app on the Mac for controlling brightness because you lose a lot when um, it looks too dark when you do it where you're losing some of the detail. I will go down to about here usually. So you can do that. You can also have your pointer be different um, with the circle, with an arrow. Big green arrow. Or normal. You can also have focus that helps you. So if you're going down a menu, it'll put a box around it. But mainly what I wanted to show was the various types of monitor settings for the dual monitors. So here's what mine are.